Beginning with the end in mind, let's go ahead and start making these textured ornaments. The idea sheet or the idea guide might help you as you begin starting to plan out the lines, shapes, and designs that you would like to add to your ornament. When you get your piece of aluminum, please also grab a piece of foam. The foam underneath is going to make it a softer surface so that when you take your pencil and start drawing into the aluminum, you'll have some really nice textures. If you forget your foam, you'll probably be able to see some of your lines, just not very well. So please grab that foam because we really want to be able to see all of those lines getting pressed into the aluminum to create some really nice shiny effects. Now the other thing that I wanted to mention today is once you've started planning out some of your ideas and designs, also try flipping it over to the opposite side of the aluminum. Now I'm working on the back side of my project. By working on the back side, you'll see some variety of layers that are going up for the lines, as well as lines that are getting pressed down. And so by turning your aluminum forward to backward or backwards to frontward, you'll have some really nice textures placed into your project as well. The idea sheet might really help you as you begin drawing your lines, shapes, and designs just so that you're able to fill up and add lots of designs onto this project. You can create a pattern that repeats again and again or you can come up with some of your own ideas. They don't all have to come from the idea sheet. I just wanted to emphasize please use up as much of the ornament shape as possible when you begin drawing and designing out your project. I hope the idea sheet helps but again Feel free to use some of your own ideas as well as you begin creating the textures into your aluminum. All right, now that I've got my textures put into my aluminum, let's take a moment and grab some, mar some Sharpie markers and start coloring in our designs. It's okay to leave some areas with silver, but I really like the way that a lot of color adds to this project. I feel like it's a lot easier to see your designs and it really does a nice job just adding more visual interest by the way that you color into your designs and shapes and lines. I had so much fun making this project. I know you will too. This is something that's make it take it and I hope that you had fun creating and making your own aluminum textured project today. Thanks for watching. Happy art making.